So peace. It's Manny Tega, Gari, Davin Deep. And uh, yeah, if y'all had been catching up with all the content, you know, it's all right. Um, But yeah, this topic is just going to be like, you know, it's, it's all right. But yeah, it could be detrimental to your to your your life there's infinite probable timelines and uh infinite parallel dimensions and if you're in a steer spear steer fear state of mind then you're you better open your ears because you're gonna have to lose all fear lose all meat lose all processed food lose all karmic field foods and, and lose all processed foods so you can um uh, start having a uh, good karmic food instead of having food that could be karmic baggage and hold you down in fear because you'll be in a totally different probable timeline you will not make it to the utopia on a on a fear-based uh on a fear-based diet you gotta you cannot be eating meat or processed foods you gotta be eating uh love eat the highest vibrational foods that grow right out of the ground and from earth and uh other than that you know you eat through your senses so you make sure you are eating real real foods <clears throat> And they grow out the ground and food is medicine. Dr. Sevi taught us this. Let food be the healing. Herbs are for the healing. Uh, now, let's get into this. Like, you know, so I was watching some videos about some gamers. You know, there's Dr. Disrespect and, and Pootie Pie, you know, and I, they basically run the Internet. You know, they basically run the Internet. And uh, we was talking about how you got to stop playing video games and you got to start playing this video game. This is the video game, the video game of life. Um, and yeah, and then, uh, but it's, it's worse than that. It's, or it's not any worse or better or whatever. It's just like, there's literally folk that are watching folk play video games. They're, they're instead of playing a video game, there's, oh, oh my gosh, it's worse than I thought. <laughs> Uh, again, that's just a, a polar, but, but, but literally, um, literally there are folk watching play people play video games and the, they're in a, in a game video game, but this is the video game that we got to be playing. That's just like the tail live vision. You got to stop watching the tail live vision. It's right there in front of your face. It tells lies to your vision. You got to start playing this video game and speaking out about what's going on like there's something called a cell phone and a cell tower and a tail live vision it's because it attacks us on a cellular level and then the tail live vision tells lies to our vision let me say it again there's something called a cell phone and a cell tower and a tail live vision and it's because it it attacks us on a cellular level and the other one tells lies to your vision Y'all got to wake up, got to open your pineal gland, stick your thumb in your third eye, your first eye to keep it open. Yeah, Aboriginals always knew about this. You hold it there for 20 seconds and it opens up. It'll keep you from being depressed. Take you a little lemon, pop a hole in it, put you a couple of drops on your tongue. You just took a magnesium dose. That's going to help you from being depressed, man. It's no level of sanity to be well adjusted to a profoundly sick of society. Let me say it again. It's no level of sanity to be well adjusted for a, to a profoundly sick society. That's a quote from a book from a man. Now, that's just the, what I'd like to put in there. You know what I'm saying? And start writing your book. You know, write the first page during this quarantine. Learn a language, you know. Learn or whatever it's called. I ain't staying inside. I ain't staying inside during this quarantine. During this, during this pandemic, pandemic, that word pandemic. It's been going on planning for a long time. There's going to be two different realities. There's going to be two new world orders. There's going to be two new world orders. You know, one that George W. Bush was talking about, uh, he, whenever he said, you know, that they're definitely going to have a new world order, you know, there's that, that new world order. There's always going to, they're always going to be, you know, controlling the masses, but you know, you got the choice to be free, you know, to get on that timeline, you know? And, um, yeah, like we were saying, it's all about vibration, Nikola Tesla, energy, frequency, and vibration. And that's what it's about y'all for real. 
It's about that love vibration, that highest vibration. And you just can't get, get on it if you're eating meat. Right? You're in fear if you're doing that. If you're eating processed food, even meat in itself, if you break the words apart, it says eat in it. It's like programming in itself. You really have to open your third eye or else you'll be blind to lies. Only real eyes, real eyes, real eyes legitimately open your pineal gland so you can have a soul for one so you can hold your soul in your body so you can have your all power you think yeah we are really really powerful but you got to have your pineal gland open so that's going to be it for today like subscribe put the notification bell on if you got any questions and would like to buy some product for me or get your past life read or just would like me to do something for you message me at Manny Tega. I mean, by do something for you, I mean, like, make your life better doing affirmations type shit. Other than that, that's it. Make sure you like. Make sure you subscribe. If you feel like it, subscribe. Put the notification bell on. But make sure y'all like the video. And, um. Butterflies, butterflies. Butterflies fly. And we will touch the sky if we become electromagnetically charged. That's why I encourage y'all to walk barefoot, eat Dr. Sebi's electric alkaline food list, Dr. Sebi's food list, because legitimately we can fly. That's <laughs> It's so silly that, that we've lost touch with everything and our power, our true power. But you got to open up your pineal gland or you won't be able to see past the lies. You won't be able to see past this third dimensional light prism. You won't be able to see what, what, what's, what's past the, the third dimension. You won't be able to see what's not trapped in this third dimension. And it's like, oh my gosh, it's infinity. It's infinity out here. We're in the infinite waters. We're in like a parallel dimension. Like this dimension is like the shitty. It's like don't even exist, bro. Everything is within. Know thyself. The only real world is within you. Like go within yourself. The only way to go to to escape or to get outside is go within. And yeah, like don't be sleeping with your cell phones in the bedroom. It's too electromagnetically distressed and uh cause you to be depressed. Just like listen what I'm saying and take on these proven strategies, y'all. These are all proven strategies. All 301 of my videos, bro. Every bit of that shit's truth and proven strategies. I ain't talking nothing. Only time I am talking something is whenever I'm talking about a hypothesis. Now, that ain't got nothing to do with nothing. That's just me saying, oh, if I do this, maybe I'll get this outcome. That's science. That's science. That's, that's not me saying, oh, this is this and this is that. But but for real, for real, y'all won't be able to see much if you don't open your pineal gland. You have to have a pineal gland in 2020 to understand what's going on. To understand what's going on. Understand is to understand something. Understand is to really heart feel it. Overstand is to overstand it. And you can really understand stuff and reprogram your subconscious mind or remember it when you take notes. But you also can, um, you can do that. And I, I got a lot I can share with y'all. I mean, I can share with y'all about escaping the light matrix, you know, RFG chosen ones videos. I recommend y'all watch many of RFG chosen ones videos. And if you're watching any fake, uh, spiritual teacher, like legitimately, they could be programming you the same as the television, the same as the 440 hertz music going on nowadays. All that stuff. There's drones that fly around now. It's 5G towers. You got to talk out about what's going on. Um, you know, everybody's wearing a mask and the mask doesn't help with anything. It actually causes you to be recycling CO2 like you're breathing in your own CO2, which is going to carbon dioxide that's our excreted waste that's supposed to go far out like you're going to be perfectly healthy if you're just breathing like normal like a uh, virus can come in it's going to build your immune system up and what we say follow dr sebi's food list and and high alkalinity disease hate uh anything that's high vibration and high alkalinity disease hates it cancer hates it viruses hate it they die in that sense because your white blood cells are actually being empowered uh, like OP. But yeah, so peace. Thank y'all very much. Don't let the thought of sickness in. Don't don't let that in. Don't let the thought of illness in. You know, use your affirmations to stay strong. And uh, yeah, 
build a foundation to withstand the test of times. I know I'm a Capricorn, so earlier on in the season, I was supposed to be breaking down, you know, I was breaking down and then this build, you know what I'm saying? Because they've built us off of all this processed food, all this junk, all this, you know, vaccinations to get into school, all this public indoctrination system, electromagnetic distress, uh, 440 hertz, um, wearing shoes all the time where your soul doesn't connect with Gaia. And then, you know, like not doing anything the way our ancestors intended and not doing anything for nature, like eating processed food. So you're destroying your inner ecosystem, like not doing anything for nature, like not protecting it, not protecting your inner waters. You know, we're water protectors. You know, we have water, earth, wind, sun within us. It's we're all the elements. We're all the elements. We're, we're everything. We're infinite. And it's really, really, we are prices. And these, these, uh, I'm just going to call them the inorganic beings. You know, they, they're, they're, the list might be coming to the light now. A lot's coming to the light for the service, but anybody who's, who's taking what they're, what they're, putting out like fluoride you know just uh watching the television the news fear propaganda they're just going to be reincarnated again they're just going to be reincarnated again and then it's like they they don't want you to see anything you don't see anything publicized that's that's helping you or for you like they would not would not like you to see anything it doesn't get publicized that's back to what we were saying the gamers they're basically running the internet right now um and that's just like you playing a game. Like I said, no, this is the game. Like, again, you know, don't watch the tell eye vision. Tell your own vision. This is the game. You know, the first step is to stop eating processed food. Follow Dr. Sebi's food list and drink that alkaline spring water. Charge it in glass. That's the first step. Once you get your health solid because it goes off of the root chakra, the red chakra, that's the first thing is about health and sex and then you move on to your identity you know what i'm saying Do, like you know you move on to who you are and we're, we're infinite spiritual beings having human experiences you know they they got a sex agenda they got a, a sex agenda where they would like you to be you know set like they got a sex agenda where they would like you to be the opposite sex of yourself so a lot of the processed foods they've got you know is is a lot to do with that but you know just following a natural strict discipline diet you know will get you in and you know if you don't want to listen to me about it like go watch somebody who has done it and got the success results because honestly i i'm not i'm not the one who's got got the best results right now you know i haven't been as true as as to the diet as i should have been but right now you know it's it's really coming into me and it's prevalent like just the other day ralph smart talked about the the reality shift and how that if you're not on that alkaline or if you're not on that non-fear base if you're not on that love vibration you're not making it in you know what i'm saying you're not making it in but it's not going to do anything for the chosen one see like i'm chosen one so like you know i i'm doing a lot of what's it called uh re i'm doing a lot of energy work right now i'm doing a lot of shadow work right now i'm doing a lot of um past life regression work right now but i'm not gonna let y'all in so much on that i could update but yeah that's what's going on um yeah i'm doing a lot of shadow work so, uh, peace. Thank y'all very much. Um, and I hope y'all are feeling great. You know, I hope everything's going good. I'm sending y'all lots of positive energy today. Thank you very much for checking my video out. I'm so glad that I could channel this message for y'all today. And just look at the clouds and the trees, baby. The breeze just out here breathing out that good ass prana. It's nothing better. Not any contrails. We got a tree line before our five, before the five G tower. It's the best thing we got out right now. So yeah, we gotta unite. Unity is power, and we gotta we gotta unite with active pineal glands, alkaline blood, and we're gonna be on a high vibratory state, walking barefoot, and we're gonna slaughter every or inorganic being there was. This is what I'm hearing from Remedy H. So if Remedy H is, is really, really tapped in like he says he is to the Cosmic Council and and to the, the you know, it's, it's, it's over because like he what he's saying is that, you know, our ancestors uh, are coming out from inner earth and and, you know, us, we're waking up and that's exactly what's happening. We're waking up and folk like Remedy H and RFG Chosen One and Official Ralph Smart and Young Pharaoh, they're helping us wake up. 
they're helping us wake up. Folk like me, yo, I'm helping y'all wake up. Like, I'm, I'm inspiring a million people a day, you know, through the spirit realm. Like, folks see me in the spirit and they just see a ball of light. They just see a lighthouse. They just see a, a lighthouse. They follow me. So I'm, I'm, I'm waking up in a million, I'm inspiring a million folk, uh, day, day every minute. Yeah. Every hour. Every day, I'm inspiring 10 billion people. So peace, y'all. Thank y'all very much. And yeah, anything's possible. I, impossible is I'm possible. You can do anything you put your heart and your mind fully into. Your heart is your, is your, your, your second brain. It's got five times as much power as your, as your brain and your abdo and your head. And then your gut is uh, your three times as powerful brain uh, than in your heart. And you know, you're really powerful. Anything that you can perceive and can be believed by the heart is possible. Y'all really understand what I'm saying, and a lot has to do with that pineal gland. First, you have to be able to manipulate black matter. You have to be able to focus your energy like the same that you focus it whenever you focus that energy to make something happen. You have to focus your energy without moving any body part and be able to focus it like that and focus it right on top of your crown chakras where you should be focusing your, focusing your energy all the time. And yeah... Um, yeah, if anything's coming up, just accept and allow and let it flow and observe. And if there's any negative thoughts, ask whose thoughts are these? Um, I am not my thoughts. You are not your thoughts. You know, I'm not my thoughts. Um, I'm an infinite spiritual being having a human experience. I don't have, I don't think thoughts. I don't think so, thoughts. I think one to seven to eight thoughts a day. So yeah, y'all should really think that only about one to eight thoughts a day. Uh, legitimately, you really shouldn't be li thinking any more than that, only those thoughts. And you know, um, with the numerology, y'all should be writing down your name. You should be writing down anything that you, you have, like a dream. You should be sitting up and writing it down. It's a spiritual meaning, spiritual significance. Very, very powerful. And then anything that you have, like, like a, uh, Anything that you have like that, you see numbers, synchronicity numbers, like a series of numbers, write down exactly what you were doing or exactly what you was thinking or exactly who you were around then. And if somebody's like gaslighting you or manipulating you through uh, gaslighting, narcissist uh, manipulation technique, just make sure to write down what they're saying. Record what they're saying. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's important spiritual messages that you're getting sent. The universe speaks through numbers. So yeah, and the whole sub, we are the universe as well. The whole subconscious mind does not comprehend English and our subconscious mind has been programmed to shut off certain parts of it. So we have to reprogram our subconscious mind. The smartest man is going to be a man who is, is alkaline and is also a man goes for woman too. Woman is just man with womb. And, um, yeah, so man, the smartest man's going to be someone who's alkaline and someone who has high, high electricity vibratory rate because that electricity is going to go and it's going to activate the whole brain. It's going to activate. And then that non, eat non processed food is going to activate your DNA. It's going to do a heavy metal detox and a parasite detox. It's going to activate your DNA. Yes, we got parasites inside of us if we don't do this. But it's going to activate your... And we got heavy metals that would make us sick if we didn't have the parasites in the first place. They work in unison for great. But you can rid all of them eating this good diet through silica. Silica can bond... I, I could go into it for y'all. I've already talked about the monoatomic gold and, and then escaping the light matrix before. And... uh you know, here it is. I'm just reverberating it. So thank y'all for tapping into my clear channel. Thank you very much. I hope this, this video, well, let's just affirm it. This video is just going to get out there to you and you're, you're just feeling blessed for the rest of eternity following the Dr. Sebi food list, the best, the best lifestyle that you can follow. And, um, and drinking water, drinking a gallon of water daily, feeling great, only eating in that positive sunshine, nature with your soul tribe. And we're out here as free as it gets, as free as it gets, as free as it gets. And we're just out here feeling alive, united in Sedona, united in Sedona for freedom. On September 22nd of of last year, we unite out there a lot. We really do unite in Sedona a lot. You know why we unite in Sedona a lot for freedom? We unite in Sedona a lot for freedom because it's an electromagnetical point.
that is highly, highly charged. Now, this is also a place that would be great for her to build pyramids, and we should not look out, uh, we should not look over what our ancestors were doing because our ancestors were highly, highly advanced and highly, uh, civilized or, or humane. But now you got these brutal, barbaric folk who have came in and strategic, strategically, um, made this system of government which is governmental which is mind control and they still still do it today it's the same colonists they're all the same bloodline every every president was of the same bloodline um and yeah it's it's a it's a satanic group they uh molest children they they do blood sacrifices they drink adrenochrome and they've been doing it since the since the ages of greek and rome um and it's that same system from rome it's it's the new roman empire uh it's the the new babylon it's the, it's the same babylon it's the same it's the same roman empire um yeah it's the british the british crown um, banking, elite banking system. Yeah. It's what we went to war for a lot. And they're still, they're still, um, yeah. And literally what I mean by like, we went to war, like, yeah, we live past lives and we literally went to war with these folks a lot. And then, um, also we're not separated from, from those, those children that were, that are being sacrificed because, they can literally very easily be be your your son whenever it's reincarnated or something. Um it very easily and like even those that were that were natives, you know, we're not separate from them because we live multiple lives. We were reincarnated. So um I hopefully that opens the veil for you because it is the it is the apocalypse, meaning apocalypse is to the coming of the veil, the opening of the veil. It's twenty twelve, the end of the Mayan calendar, the the calendar that our system going here is going by where it says twenty twelve, but it was actually some years back. It was eight years back, so it's actually twenty twelve. It's 2012 in Ethiopia. Ethiopians were depicted over there in, in, in the Aztec, uh, times and depicted over there in the Aztec, um, Aztec, New Mexico or whatever. Um, and then you got like, it's 2012 over there. It's 2012 now, which is the time that, that all this is supposed to be going on. And the one folk who I find are just speaking such, so much truth are the folk below. Yeah. For real. Check them out. Uh, in the description. That's what I'm finding out. And yeah, uh, hopefully this is, I could go around all day. I could, but hopefully this clears it up, um, for y'all. And thank y'all very much. You know, the mind is like, the brain is like a, a muddy waters, you know, if you let it sit, it clears up. So peace. This is the symbol for peace. And then, uh, this symbol right here upside down is a symbol of death. And then this symbol is a symbol of death as well, but this is a symbol of peace. It's a mantra for peace. And then that's a symbol for, uh, ayahuasca, which is, was the tree of life, which is also the, the circle for, uh, Africa, the Africa symbol for infinity. Um, but upside down is Julius Caesar, another symbol for death. And they, they just tried to implement that during the hippie era to fuck them up. And it worked, you know, everybody started taking on that symbol and folks still take on that symbol, but it's not a symbol of peace. I was just going to let y'all know that. Make sure to like this video.